Hey, what's up guys? Matt here. I am driving as per usual. Um, today I wanted to talk a little bit about my Apple Watch. If you saw the last episode, or the last video that I posted, um, it was about my, my friend Todd, um, who'd passed away, and I, I spoke directly to him, and that was, that was tough. But, Todd Wilson, awesome guy. If you knew him, you know he was an awesome guy. But I'm gonna miss him for sure. So this video, um, like I said, it's about my Apple Watch. And the reason it's about my Apple Watch is because um, I've been in a little bit of a, um, a, a different situation lately for some reason. Um, I've deleted all social media from my phone as well as a few entertainment apps uh, like Netflix and uh, Disney Plus. I do have Hulu and YouTube. YouTube just to post these videos. I do watch a little bit of YouTube here and there. Um, but I, I've removed social media off my phone because I was tired of just scrolling. I'm tired of getting on my phone all the time and just... and just scrolling. Um, so I took it off my phone. And it's been great. It's been about a week or... Yeah, about a week and a day or so. I have gotten on a few times. I haven't downloaded the apps. I just get on Safari on my phone and look for a few seconds just to check my notifications. But that is it, and I haven't been on. Um, this is not going to be like a, an accountability. You're not going to keep me honest um, by not being on the apps. I'm just taking a little break. Um, I might come back, probably. Um, my phone now is most used for taking pictures of my son um, and making these videos and listening to podcasts and music. Um, I was about to listen to a podcast and I thought I'd film a video. So that's why I'm talking about my Apple Watch. Um, so as I mentioned, my Apple Watch. Um, I initially got an Apple Watch in 2015 with the Series Zero. At the time it was just the, the Apple Watch sport edition, the cheapest edition, um, ended up being $471. Um, at the time, let's see, 2015, I was 18 years old, and I had just graduated high school, um, so I didn't have a girlfriend as well, so I was rolling in the money from Office Depot, um, or no, was I Chick-fil-A? No, I was, I was at Office Depot. In New Albany as I think the senior sales consultant technology at the time which is a few positions ago uh, but I got an Apple watch and, and I'd never worn a watch before um, I'm a big Apple fanatic and I definitely wanted the Apple watch so I got the Apple watch and my initial um, I was like this is the one I'm gonna get it's gonna look like this it's gonna ha it's gonna be the silver one and then I didn't honestly know that there was a space gray version. And I got there to the Apple store with my mom to buy it. And they said, do you want the the space gray version or this version? I should have thought more about that because I said this version and I should have got the, the black one because the black one's super cool. Uh, and that is the one that I got uh, or the one that my wife bought me, actually, in, I think it was 2018? Had to have been 2018, uh, because that was when I worked at Carriage Ford. And she got me the the Space Gray Series 3 Apple Watch. So I had the Series 0 from 15 to 18. It was great. By the end of its lifespan, um, at least for me, my mom now has it, um, but it, it was the battery was running low very quickly. Everything was slow to use. Um, I, 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 Siri couldn't speak to me, and or talk back at least. A lot of things were wrong with it, um, which my mom did not have an Apple Watch. She had a Fitbit at the time, but she ended up getting my Apple Watch, and she's enjoying it. Um, she thought about getting a new one, but um, I think she's keeping this one for now. Uh, but 
then I got the Series 3 and it was awesome. It was the Space Gray version, which was the one I wanted because I have a, a black ring, uh, or my, a black wedding band, at least. And it was awesome. It was perfect. Oh, man, it was so cool. Um, I found out that I didn't really like the sport, or the, yeah, the sport band, that rubber, rubber band that came with the sport Apple Watch. Um, so, and I've switched over to these. Um, which are the Sport Loop band, which are very comfortable, very soft. Um, but I um, was having an issue with my Series 3 Apple Watch, and it was really uncomfortable on my wrist. So one day I took it off, and wouldn't you know, the one day I take it off, I don't put it in my pocket for some reason, and I... I'm holding it in my hand as I'm carrying things into the house after church, and I drop it. I drop it right on our driveway, space down on the driveway, and I'm like, there's no way this is broken. I'm not very tall. I'm about 5'7 or so, maybe 5'8. I don't know. I'm pretty short. I dropped it, flipped it over, and it was completely destroyed. Oh, I felt so bad. Oh, I was like, oh, I wish I would have just put this in my pocket. I wish I would have kept it on my wrist. I wish, I wish, I wish. But it was gone. And for, I think it was 2019 that I dropped it. Must have been. Maybe January. I don't know. Time flies. But, uh, so I dropped it, broke it. Obviously, I couldn't wear it, and so I decided to get a mechanical watch or an automatic watch, and I had that watch for, I, th I think I didn't have a watch that Monday, so I broke it Monday or Sunday, didn't have a watch Monday, got it Tuesday from Amazon, the $25 Timex watch, um, the Timex Weekender, if you're wondering, and I was remiss. I couldn't believe it. I was like, what am I going to do? I love my Apple Watch. I love my notifications. I love knowing the weather. I love knowing the date. And the Timex Weekender is just a watch. No date, no calendar, no weather, no notifications. But now, um, so Sunday, broke the watch. Monday, didn't have a watch. Tuesday, had a watch. Thursday, got this Apple Watch. Uh, I didn't buy it, so I'm very thankful for one of my pastors, Brian, um, who loves Apple and loves the Apple Watch as well. He got the Series 4 um, and gave me his Series 3, so I've, I've had an Apple Watch basically every day since 2015. The point of this story is I love the Apple Watch. Um, lately, however, with this removal of social media, coming back to the very beginning of this episode, with the removal of social media and the... My, I had a want for a better screen time. Because if you know on iPhones and I think other phones, phones you have screen time, which tells you how long you've been on your phone. And I try to keep it... Um, at one point it was like six hours. Or no. No, 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 no I'm sorry. Four, four hours. So four hours out of the week, I was on my phone. And I was like, that is just way too much. So I took my, my phone off, or I took the my, whatever, <laughs> the social media off. And I started wearing that Timex watch again. Just a normal watch. So during the day, when I was on maternity or paternity leave uh, with my son, I would just, I wouldn't even bring my phone out of the bedroom. I would just leave it in the bedroom, strap on that watch so I knew what time it was. I really enjoy knowing what time it is. That's very important to me, um, having worn a watch for so many years now. Uh, but yes, so I've been wearing that watch, and every few days I switch. I go back and forth with my Timex watch and my Apple watch. Some days I want to want to stay off my phone. Um, so I, I bring the watch and I wear the watch so I don't have to get on my phone. Um, 
But I also really am getting over this design of the Apple Watch. I'm tired of the way it looks. Um, having had it for so many years, um, it looks the same. Um, obviously it looks the same because it's the silver one from the original that I had the silver. Um, but I see, I, I'm very jealous of people that wear normal watches and can be fine without the notifications from their phone. Um, I'm getting I'm getting used to it. However, I do still wear my Apple Watch, as you can see, um, because I still love my Apple Watch. I love having it connected, having the media controls and the, the Apple TV remote, if ever, if ever need be, um, and really everything that comes with the Apple Watch: text messaging, notifications, phone calls, voice memos, everything that comes with the Apple Watch is incredible. It's also incredible to have an automatic watch, um, an, a real watch. Um, because I like the way it looks. It looks fancy. Um, it's very, very comfortable to wear. Lately, it's been really hot in the store. Um, I'm actually wearing shorts right now because we can wear shorts in the store. Um, and it's awesome because it's so hot in the store. But sometimes this, this gets uncomfortable. Even with the, the really cool, comfortable band, it gets uncomfortable. The and it's it's pretty big on my wrist. Sometimes it looks big, um, and it, it it just gets uncomfortable with the back part having the um, the heart rate sensor and it being. It's just a big big watch compared to my Timex Weekender that is very thin, very comfortable to wear. Um, I can wear it all day. Um, I did a sleep tracking. Once, um, I used to, so now to backtrack some more, this is going to be a long video. My mom had a Fitbit. Um, she gave me that Fitbit, and at one point, I was wearing, for some reason, my Apple Watch and a Fitbit. Um, for no real reason. I just did, because I'm a weirdo. And then I used to sleep track with the Fitbit, because it was great at sleep tracking. And it didn't have a screen, so I could just wear it, and it was fairly comfortable to sleep in. Um, but the other day... I slept in this Apple Watch with this band to do a little sleep tracking. Now, the Apple Watch, very uncomfortable to sleep in. Um, but, I mean, I did it that one day. Uh, but the, the Timex Weekender, super comfortable. Really comfortable. Uh, a great band. Good dial. Easy to read. Um, it's very helpful for me to have that other option. Because some days I'm tired of looking at my Apple Watch. Um, however, the Series 4 and the Series 5 updated their design. Um, the Series 5 now has an always-on display, which is really cool. Um, and it's also very big. It's 44 millimeters versus this 42, but the screen size is larger, so you get a lot more screen real estate on the Series 5. Um, however... I have a baby who's two months old. Um, I have a job that pays very little. I have a house that requires a lot of money um, for me to pay it. Um, I have a wife that I like to spoil sometimes. <laughs> and a new Apple Watch is very expensive. So, that is why I still have Series 3. And I've been going back and forth with my Series 3 and my mechanical automatic watch, the Timex Weekender. Um, so yeah, to sum up, I love my Apple Watch. I also love my automatic watch. Thanks so much, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm going to eat um, this breakfast scramble that I meant to eat on this drive um, while I sit in the car and listen to a podcast. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. See you in the next one. Peace.